Canada's tax watchdog, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation, today held its annual Gas Tax Honesty Day. The Federation has been doing this since 1988 to highlight the lack of accountability, they say, in Canada and our levies on gasoline. Joining us, Derek Philibrandt from the Taxpayers Federation. Minister Philibrandt, what is in your report this year? Well, our report uh, examines gas taxes in all 10 provinces and uh, on an average level nationally. And we compare uh, a province against province and uh, on, a, on a larger level how much Canadians are paying in taxes. And uh, while most Canadians don't know how much they're paying, on average they're paying about 37 cents a litre. That varies from province to province with uh, some provinces paying more and some provinces paying less. Uh, where does this money go? Well, uh, about $2 billion of it comes back to, uh, to motorists and drivers in the forms of the gas tax fund. Uh, Minister Flaherty, to his credit, has uh, said that the next budget is going to enshrine the gas tax fund in standalone legislation. That'll make it a, a, a permanent gas tax fund, which means that that $2 billion collecting gas taxes goes back to roads. But the federal government spends, uh, collects much more in gas tax revenues than it actually spends on roads. And we think that that difference, uh, you know, gas taxes should be a user fee, and that difference between what's spent and collected, that needs to be uh, gas taxes that are cut uh, to provide relief to motorists at a time when, uh, when families and drivers really don't have a lot of money to spare. Well, explain to us why you think this should be a user tax. Why shouldn't it just be a luxury tax? Well, uh, driving is not a luxury. A lot of people uh, need it just to get to work. Uh, you know, today we had, we were t I was talking to uh, a woman and her husband on, uh, who are on a fixed income. They're retired. Uh, who, who uh, you know, it's not exactly an extravagant luxury for them to be going on vacation, and uh, they were really paying at the pump today. Uh, gas taxes, uh, according to the tax, uh, from our opinion, should be uh, should be a user fee in that. Uh, gas taxes are levied uh, as an extra tax on top of uh, GST, HST. Uh, because you know, it costs a lot of money to build and repair roads, and you know that, that's fine that we have extra taxes on gas because of that. But it should be, but it should not be a revenue positive uh, me endeavor for government. It should mm. not be able to collect more than that and uh, be able to spend it wherever it wants. So, if the average Canadian is spending 37 cents per liter in taxes, if if I understand you correctly, how much of that goes back into roads and the like, and how much of that disappears into the general fund? Well, about $2 billion is transferred from the federal government uh, to municipalities to spend, uh, plus what the, the provincial, governments, uh, provincial governments invest in roads. Uh, so right now it's, uh, it's artificially higher because the federal government, uh, in response to the recession, pumped billions and billions of dollars into infrastructure spending, uh, from it says, to fight, to fight the recession. So it, it's higher right now and it largely matches. But once it comes back down to uh, regular non-recessionary levels, when it's no longer engaging in stimulus spending, there's going to be a very large gap between how much is collected in gas taxes and how much is spent on roads. And, it, and it's that part that we th think should be, uh, should be cut. And we think it should start with the tax on tax. You know, there are, there's a 10 cent a liter uh, federal excise tax. And then another uh, approximately 17 cents a liter levied from provincial excise taxes. Those are taxes that are hidden and buried in the pump price that you don't see. And the federal government charges uh, the GST and some provinces charge the HST not just on the pre-tax price of gasoline, which is actually 90 cents. That's the real cost of gasoline, 90 cents. They charge the GST, HST not just on that, but on top of its own hidden gas taxes. And so what we want to see is the federal government charge the GST, HST only on the real cost of gasoline. And in 2004, the, uh, the Conservatives put out a news release saying that uh, it was time to axe the tax on tax. And today we're trying to hold the Conservatives and Stephen Harper accountable for his 2004 promise that government should not be taxing tax, that it's, it's morally repugnant, that it's, uh, that it's fleecing taxpayers, and there is a way government can provide relief to drivers at the pump, and that's cutting the tax on tax. Derek Philibrand is with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Dan.